What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the Witcher 3's developer, CD Projekt Red, talking a little bit about the uh, the next-gen upgrade, basically just saying that it, the game is not in development hell. So let's read over what they said, and then we'll talk about my impressions of it. Pretty much during the financial earnings call, uh, the, a representative said, I want to say it's not a fact. There have been a lot of insinuations that we're going to launch June of next year. That's completely not the case. They then went on to say the PS5 version hasn't uh, hasn't been pushed back some monumental sort of time gap ahead of us. The Witcher 3 on PS5 was scheduled to release uh, in quarter two this year, but a new time window hasn't been confirmed. And this was to the question of, like, is the game, I think somebody asked, is it in development hell? And they said that's it's not a fact that that's the case. It's, it's not that way. So, you know, uh, it's a little, like, jumbled up the wording. I don't think it's, like, the greatest wording, right, of all time. And so it, it's pretty much kind of making excuses, right, where it's like, well, we never said this, or now we're pushing it this. Uh, and, and, you know, it's pretty much what I've said on my main channel. We talked about this as soon as the delay was official once they announced that they had taken it in from saber interactive um you know i made the video talking about well why you know why do you make such a move now i saw some people saying uh, well saber interactive i believe what a russian company so maybe it's because of that stuff going on i think that would be pretty messed up for reasons that i won't get too far into uh you know in this video but that would be pretty stupid of a reason i would say to to take it away from them and, and then delay it now right they have to delay it so uh but you know i will say this it is good that you kind of get out ahead of this stuff i don't really know if it's ahead of i think it's probably at the same time you know as people are saying well again kind of weird you take it from saber you're working on, on your own you have to kind of perform almost like an evaluation of where the game is and then you have to continue it and that leads people down a couple different paths right does that mean that this upgrade is like some gigantic because one thing i and i've always questioned this too i have no doubt it'll be better like i'm not you know i'm not saying that but when it's always been called and it is a next gen upgrade it's not necessarily a, in fact it's not i guess in general a remaster it's not a remake it's it's i don't even know if it's technically considered a ps well it is I, right like a ps5 or xbox series s or x version of the game i guess that's what it is and like the shortened way of saying that is a next gen version or a next gen upgrade so it will look better but this does lead people down the path of like well will it look substantially better you know like like where's the what's the realm of better right and, and and that's fair that's fair to i think question so we'll see how it is but then you know that's one path you can go down and then another path would just be they have no idea what they're doing or nobody has ever had an idea of what they're doing and and the thing i've said before and i'll say it you know one more time to sum up my thoughts I, again i'm fine with them saying this there's nothing wrong with them saying it out loud and it's good to hear you know that just because this happened doesn't mean the game is years away doesn't mean you know it's in development hell but the only way you win people back right and i've said this uh, uh, if you're cd project red is just by having these things come out and nailing them right not not words, actions at this point, and because uh, you know, obviously because of Cyberpunk. So you know, having Cyberpunk's expansion come out in 2023, it needs to be incredible. It just does. The Witcher 3, the next gen upgrade, needs to be really good. The next Witcher game needs to be like a game of the year contender that's how you get people back that's it you know these things can happen too it's you know delays random things i'm not saying i'm not saying negative things won't happen or you know you have to make every single right move but the products when they come out they need to be at the the highest level possible that's how you're going to win people back um you know at the end of the day so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you're all subscribed to the channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all of these videos go up and i hope to see you guys on the next video